says this is Adam and about, and I absolutely agree with it. A little too close for comfort for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you were parked with the handbrake, you know, if you want to have a little extra assistance. This is I gotta go home and take a nap for my alarm, and then I'm gonna go tow Willie's Bentley out to. Alright everybody, so I'm going to do a voiceover on this. I don't have a mic. As a matter of fact, I don't even have my GoPro right now. Um, this was Sunday morning, okay? So um, I'll probably post this Monday. So if you're seeing this on Monday, this was yesterday morning. Um, we got the call at 6 o'clock in the morning. No, 7 o'clock in the morning. Um we had already, Cadence and I had already had the alarm set for church. We were going to be getting up at 7.30. And uh, just so happens to be I get the phone call at 7. It's a gentleman saying that um, he had wrecked his truck and that um, it had went over the guardrail and that the police officer on scene um, had recommended for him to call us. Um I didn't really recognize the officer, to be perfectly honest. I don't know if the officer just Googled, like, towing near them or whatever. I didn't really get time to ask, but we dispatched on the call. I think we arrived on scene within 15 minutes of receiving the call. Um, so, yeah, I was actually in, like, you know, whenever I got up and we, we got ready, um, it was, like, in a hurry, you know, because church, let's see, Bible study started at uh, eight, uh, nine, okay, and we were wanting to show up a little bit early, so we were in a rush. Plus, the police officer was blocking uh, two lanes of traffic for us, so I could get uh, a good angle over the guardrail. I did learn um, some of this stuff from Hunter, uh, so shout out to Hunter Causey. Um, he had showed me a couple tricks about pulling cars from over guardrails without having to utilize a heavy and um you know if any of you know this if if you know a heavy were called out for this you know this would have been a thousand dollar tow right it would have been on police rotation heavy would have come out those trucks are stream extremely expensive and so um when i first got on scene i wasn't 100 percent sure that i'd be able to pull the truck but once I got hooked up and I, I was a, a see that I was able to move it, um, I started getting more and more confident as we go. I don't have my uniforms right now, guys. Uh, I, it's a long story. There's just a lot of stuff going on currently. Um, you know, I'm kind of staying at my, my pop's house, so actually I don't even have access to the yard right now. So um, once again, I do not have the GoPro. However... Uh, once I arrived on the scene and I s saw like this situation, um, I asked Cadence to please uh, pull out the camera. I am scrambling here. Typically, um, I try not to be moving this fast whenever I'm um, I'm working. But uh, we were not only in a rush to get off the side of the road, but we were in a rush to try to make it to Bible study, which. After I loaded the truck, I ended up having to take it to IAA, and obviously they were closed. So, um, well, this truck came with me to church. So, um, Cadence and I didn't make it back to the house. We were able to get dressed and um, make it to church on time. We didn't make it in time for Bible study, but we did have a blast at church. And so, um, now at this point, you know, I'm kind of starting to realize that it's it's necessary for me to see if I can't get uh I was first I was going to do the seat belt and just turn it with the seat belt and then the gentleman he was like by the way the guy that's in the truck that's who wrecked it uh he has not a scratch on him um so uh he they offered I mean you know they got a really good deal on this tow I mean it was insanely affordable I mean um we hooked them up and mostly because uh you know, when it came down to it, the they did help, like the gentleman. He's a, and that's not the safest place to be, right? I mean, I understand that, but I'm hooked in on both sides, and uh, I was pretty confident that there weren't the <clears throat> resistances in play here. Um, I had, I, I was able to, you know, obviously the tires are rolling, um, and then also the gradient. It, all of the resistances here uh they weren't so bad as to where i was worrying about like the brand new cable you know breaking or me even losing um 
where I had my hooks at. Like I wasn't worried about uh, anything as far as like, you know, that cable popping back. I just, uh, I had a pretty good feeling that this was all going to go pretty smooth. And then also um, I was hooked pretty low and then the direction and the angles of the cable, um, it, they were both like, um, you know, pretty low to the truck. And so I felt pretty confident that he was safe in the truck. Although, you know, technically it, it isn't the best position to be in for him. Um, yeah, so the reason that uh, I'm doing a voiceover is I don't have a mic, you guys. And typically, you know, I would have the GoPro on my head, but I don't have my GoPro. I haven't had my GoPro in weeks. I probably don't know if I'll ever even get it back at this point. I mean, it's just one of them things where... I am um, doing everything I can do to keep the business afloat, keep the channel afloat, and continue, you know, on just um, doing the best that I can do for myself. Um, it has been probably one of the most stressful last two weeks of my life. However, um, things are getting a lot better. I'm able to, uh, you know, obviously get a lot of work done. This has been, I've been very busy in the past uh, week, so God has been really good, but yeah, um, as you guys can see, the recovery went pretty well. I mean, I was pretty pretty happy with everything, and I think that I was on scene for about 30 minutes for this entire ordeal. Most of it was getting set up, and the officer getting uh, positioned to where I felt safe enough to be able to get the truck positioned where it currently is. Um, but yeah, everything went pretty smooth, and then um, Cadence, she's the one that's holding the camera. Poor thing, she had... Uh, <laughs> some pretty bad uh sinus stuff going on also so like during all of this like in the initial audio the poor kid is just she's sneezing hacking coughing she's just having a really hard time um her sinuses she's allergic apparently to everything and so um here i'm reaching underneath i'm gonna put a hook on it further up underneath the truck so um, I can pull it all the way up. And the gentleman was going to try to unhook the other side. I said, hold on, bud. I said, we do one side at a time. That way, in case something happens, we'll at least have one hook in at all times. But uh, So I go on the other side. I throw the hook underneath the tire, and I go ahead and I get my grab <clears throat> behind the tire. But, yeah, I can honestly say I, I was pretty proud of this one. I've done some pretty gnarly stuff in my time as a tow truck operator, and this is uh, this is one of my favorite ones i mean this was a pretty gnarly one the driver like i said guys not a scratch on him super cool attitude um and because they helped like i said they got a they got a really good break on the on the tow bill but um yeah i just wanted to let you guys know everything went smooth thanks for watching